Hello viewers, today I'll, I'll be talking about static generator. Is this, is such a thing exists? And apparently, according to Mr. Alberto Molina Martinez, it does exist. But let's see what he, ta what he told us, how this should work. You can see the image, the image looks interesting. It's like uh, two times three coils. And we will see what this actually does. So let's start. So uh, he called the patent the antimatter electrical generator. It sounds interesting for the beginning, I must say. So let's see what he said that this actually does. So this patent application shows the details of a device which is claimed can produce sufficient electricity to power both itself and external loads. It is. It also has no moving parts. Hmm. Now this is very interesting. So no moving parts, static electric, st static generation of electricity. It would. It would be perfect. So probably, probably it can work. But who knows? Let's see further what he says. So he says, a stationary cylindrical electromagnetic core made of one piece thin lamination stacked to a desired height having closed slots radially distributed where the two three-phase winding arrangements are placed together in the same slots, one to the center, one to the exterior, for the purpose of creating rotational electromagnetic field by temporarily applying a three-phase current to one of the windings and by this means inducting a voltage on the second one in such a way that the outgoing energy is a lot greater than the input. Huh, very interesting. So he would like to put the energy on the input and then have indefinitely energy on the output. Very interesting, I must say. So he says, a return will feed back the system and temporarily source is then disconnected. So we just need to connect three phase voltage on the input and then some kind of uh, uh, invisible electromagnetic field is uh, created and it's run indefinitely. So the generator will run by itself indefinitely, permanently generating a great excess of energy. Hmm. A perfect, perfect generator. So let's see a little bit more what the patent say. So, so he said something like in the <clears throat> summary. So the present set of complementary inventions refer to a system for the practical and inexpensive procurement of huge amounts of energy derived from the principles of matter-antimatter generation and annihilation. The generator will comprise the function of generation, amplification, concentration and collision of photons within a specially designed self-reflective chamber, the generation of particles of matter and antimatter, derived from the collision of photons, photons, the ionization of atoms, and the production of avalanches of electrons and positrons within a specialized collecting chamber. The separation of electrons and positrons by the action of powerful rotational electromagnetic fields and the conversion, and the conversion of set avalanches of electrons and positrons into electrical power. A second embodiment will separate particles of matter and antimatter generated in a similar way into antimatter fuel by the action of rotational monopolar electromagnetic fields. So this is a really, really interesting device. So by means of... Uh, uh, so he then... Uh, what he has? In the middle of this picture is... In the middle is the self-reflective chamber. So actually photons when they pass through this, uh, they are reflecting inside of the this chamber and th when they fly out, they do some uh, weird stuff. So I do not know that much physics, but you can read more about this patent on the Google. I will left the link below. It sounds really interesting and also has many images on, the, on this uh, Google patents page and you can see I hope in the future some kind of device like that would exist. I do not know if the patent requires actual working device to be to be accepted like a patent or you just need a theory and uh, idea and uh, do some images and uh, explanations that this actually works. So let's let's hope for our Alberto Molina Martinez that 
his device will show up in the stores, let's say in 20, 30 years. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.